Let's recap what you just did with the justified text and then we'll talk a little bit more about some additional information with regard to justified text. First, you went to the justified symbol, highlighted your text and chose justify all lines. And then you went to, and it's already on, but you went to InDesign, Preferences, Composition, and chose H and J violations, which shows you all of these sort of close, uh, too close and sort of extra spacing that happens when InDesign attempts to make the lines even on both the right and the left sides, which is what justified spacing is. It's a little better sometimes when you choose justified with the last line not justified because it's not quite, it's not trying to fit quite as much as exactly, but still there's a lot of yellow here. So the next thing that you probably noticed helped a lot was when you went to type and paragraph and then these four lines and went to justification and then put minus two in letter spacing minimum, two in maximum, 97 in minimum for glyph scaling, 103 in maximum, and then clicked OK. So you can see a lot of the, a lot of the yellow highlighting showing errors has gone away especially with the last line not justified and pretty much a lot as well but not as much with all of the lines justified and that's not too bad really the spacing is really not too bad to just the to the regular eye so if we didn't have that yellow highlighting, I don't think we'd even really notice too many problems there. The other thing though that I wanted to point out about justification is sometimes you will definitely know that notice an issue. And so let's look for example, if we switch this to two columns, if we look at these first three lines, we can see that these words are very, very close together, which looks almost like the, there's no space in between them. And then the next two lines, there's a lot of extra spaces. And this can happen a lot with justified text. You get these big rivers of space between some words, and then other lines, you end up with almost no space between words, and it can just look very uneven. So how do you fix that? Well, it doesn't always work when you do the settings that we tried, as you can see. So sometimes you kind of have to just manually go in. You might be able to, for example, do this, which is combine two paragraphs just by taking out the spaces between them. And that pretty much fixes the problem here. Other times it might be making using a shorter word for something or taking out a word if it doesn't affect the meaning of something. So those type of types of adjustments can help. <clears throat> if you can't, uh, let's say it's just technically incorrect to make that into uh, one paragraph, you can also try kerning. I'm going to show you that with highlighting this first paragraph. Go to the A here, and there's no exact science to this under the kerning options. We know we want to have more space, so we're going to go with the plus. Let's try 10. And that looks pretty good. The yellow highlighting isn't gone, but to my eye, I think that looks much better than it did. And then now we know we want to take out space on these next lines. So let's try minus 10, which made almost no difference. And 50 is better. Minus 75 really again, no difference. So that doesn't help too much. We can't, we're not getting a really big change there. So again, we our only choice might be to just combine that into one 
paragraph with either the preceding paragraph or the other one. So I'm going to, well, I'm not going to worry about that actually. So <laughs> the point of this is a couple, well, there's a few points. One is that justify text can definitely be harder to work with than ragged write text. And that is because of the spacing. So if you look at ragged write text, when we highlight it and put it to where it's just left aligned, and then the right just naturally returns to the next line or some lines split, some words split over two lines with hyphens, we don't have to worry about that spacing because it's not trying to fit things on a line. And that is actually what we're going to use in the magazine. And we've, we worked one issue, the first issue of countenance, we did justified text and it was very time consuming. So you see the issue with just working with a few paragraphs here and trying to get the spacing right. Imagine working with about 30 or some 30 or so pages and many, many paragraphs and then trying to get the spacing right with that justified text. So now we always use ragged right. So that's one thing that I wanted to point out. Another thing, another reason I also wanted to just make sure that we touched on justified text this semester is that you might use it for a project in the future. And so it can be helpful again to know these different pointers for when you're work, if you are working with it. Um, so that's basically a rundown of working with justified text. Let me know if you have any questions.